GTF. Kisa. What's good? Another day. Another video. GTF was going on. GTF was going on. If you woke up this morning, you are blessed, Jerry. If you woke up this morning, you are most definitely blessed. Hold on, see homie coming through with the skateboard. I always want to learn how to skateboard, you understand me? I never got a chance to learn, and I am most definitely too old to try to learn now. You feel me? But, yeah, man, I'm on the strip right now. I'm on 36th Street with it down here, Miami, Florida. 36th Street, very popular street down here, Miami, Florida. And the reason I'm out here is because my car is in here in the shop. Woke up this morning, and my car was giving me issues, you heard? My car was giving me issues, you feel me? Car a monkey wrench in my plans for the day so today is basically gonna turn to a freestyle type of day so i don't know what we eating today you feel me because the car threw the monkey wrench i woke up this morning you feel me and i was on my way out the door and i just so happened to put the window down for a little bit and when i go to put the window back up the window doesn't want to go back up you understand me so i was like damn now i had to feel me get the window go and check and see what's wrong with the window because i need that get fit to get that fixed asap because i can't just leave my window down you understand what I'm saying? I can't just leave my window down. Now, I'll be seeing some people, you feel me, not knocking anybody. Some people, like, if their window don't work or if their window break, they put a plastic bag and put some tape on it and call it a day. But I can't do that, you feel me? I got to get my window fixed. No cap, you understand me? So, yeah, man, we had to shop with it, and they fixing on that. And I don't know how long it's going to take, and they might hit me in the head, you understand me? Because that's what people do these days. We in inflation times, you understand me? Everybody hitting some people upside the head these days, you understand me? And for the people out there that don't know what hitting upside the head mean, I mean, they might hit me for a lot. They might charge me a lot, do you understand me? So yeah, man, we here waiting, freestyle type of day. Don't know what we eating yet, because we don't know how long it's going to take to fix this window, or if they can fix this window, because homie was talking about some. He don't know if he can get the part, da-da-da-da-da, whatever the case may be. But you know, he going to diagnose it, take the door panel off, and check out what's going on, what have you. So we here, fam. We going to figure it out. All right, fam. What they need on? They don't fix the, oh, uh, well, they didn't fix it, my bad. We got to resolve temporarily. It's resolved temporarily for now. So what he did was, uh, they disconnected the, uh, they disconnected the motor because the motor is bad. That's what they told me. The motor is bad, so they disconnected it so I don't put it down by mistake. But the reason they disconnected is because they don't have it. And, uh, it's a dealer item or what have you. It's a dealer item, so he said I would have to like, go to the dealer, order it or whatever, and they can install it. They can come install it. They can install it if I can get the motor and bring it back to him. So I need a master switch. What's on the paper? Hold on. He said I need a master switch and a power win power window motor. You feel me? So that's what's going on. You feel me? So basically, you feel me? I'm just I'm just be being transparent with y'all. You feel me? Uh, just let y'all know what's going on in my day. You heard? Uh, so yeah, I need those two parts. I ain't gonna try to, I ain't buying these today, but eventually I gotta buy them and get the window fixed. But the most important part, the window is up and he also disconnected it. So it don't make a mistake and drop back down up until I get it fixed. Oh yeah, so they charged me $55 to do that. $55, you heard? That's why fam is good to, to get a trade too. Cause in these times that we living in, I forgot my window on. In these times that we living in, you feel me? You gotta have you a hustle. So it's good to have you a trade, like something like a trade, like fixing windows. That's most definitely needed out here because somebody window always going to go bad. I mean, we don't really have roll up. We don't have roll up windows no more. No cars come with roll up windows no more. If it's all electric now, so that's definitely a good feel to, to have a trade in because, you know, eventually the car windows go bad. You feel me? Car uh, electric window motors go bad. Uh, master switches go bad. You feel me? So... For those out there that's looking for trades to get in, that's a good trade to get in. Besides AC, you feel me? Car AC or home AC. You feel me? All those are good trades to get in. You understand what I'm saying? But yeah, fam, um, we got that resolved. Now I need to figure out what we eating today. Yeah, I heard. Uh, I don't know yet. I haven't figured it out yet. Like I said, this whole window thing threw a monkey wrench in the plan. So I'm just trying to figure it out what I want to do today. It's still pretty early, so that's good. We got this fixed and out the way early. So, uh, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, fam. We gonna jump on this road and I'm gonna figure it out. Let go! Bum 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 b
All right, fam, I figured it out, you heard? I was looking through social media, seeing Popeye's brought back them ghost wings, you heard? So, I think that's what we gonna do today. I might try to throw in a little cheat code in there, you understand know me? I know some of y'all out there like to tell, that ain't no cheat code, that ain't no cheat code. Well, it's a cheat code to me, you heard? It's a cheat code to me. So we gonna go to Popeye's and get these ghost wings and we gonna do a little cheat code with it, man. As a matter of fact, we put it up right now. Here it is. All right, fam, so we at Popeye's. I had to pull into the parking space real quick because, you know, I was about to go through the drive-thru, but then I was like, let me check the app real quick. And surprisingly on the app, I saw that it says, $5 ghost pepper wings are back. Get the perfect balance of flavor and fire. And a free regular side when you order six pieces, creamy buttermilk, dipping sauce, and a biscuit online through the app. So I'm like, you know what? Let me go ahead and just push the, push, uh, place the order through the app because this sounds like a deal, yeah? Get a free regular side with that. You can't beat that, y'all. All right, fam. We got the grub, y'all. We got the grub, and I ain't gonna lie, this grub is smelling right. All right, fam. Time to set up Grub Tip Mobile Studios. Mass, wipes, yeah, fam. So, hopefully, tomorrow, you know what I'm saying? Don't wake up with no hiccups, feel me? Hopefully, tomorrow, don't wake up with no hiccups. And day will go by a lot smoother basically this whole Popeyes thing that I'm doing you feel me it just it's really a last minute situation or a last minute decision I just so happen to be browsing the net and uh, I'm like you know what let's go do that today you know what I mean so yeah so this is uh basically what I'm doing today is a cheat code and uh Technically, this is grub for under half a dub because I ordered it off the app and uh, I think it's six pieces of the ghost pepper wings. It's six pieces of the ghost pepper wings and uh, it came with a free side. I got french fries. Well, that's what I picked on the app. I haven't even opened the box yet. So hopefully that's what they put on the inside of the box. The extra side was supposed to be fries. So I got all that, you know, the six wings and the french fries for the 535. You heard? For the 535 on the app, you understand me, so, I don't know, them ghost pepper wings smelling mighty right right now, alright fam, that should be good, now let's get into this food, gotta pour one for the GTF, alright fam, so this is a cheat code video, y'all, so basically I went to two places for this cheat code, you feel me? Some of y'all gonna complain, oh, I'm not doing two, two places. I'm not going to no two places, whatever, you feel me? This is what I do, you feel me? So I go to two places. That's just me. You don't have to. I'm just putting it out there just in case for the people who don't mind going to two places. Yeah. So what I did was, I went to Wingstop first. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, you feel me? Wingstop chicken, they straight, you feel me? But the best thing that Wingstop sell is that ranch. Yeah. That ranch, that's the best thing that we stop got on the menu over there. They chicken straight, I don't hate they chicken, you feel me? But the best thing they sell is that ranch. And that's facts, you heard? That's facts. So you go to Wingstop and you get the ranch, right? Keep in mind, you only could do this Chico for a limited time because Popeye's just brought back the ghost pepper wings and we don't know how long they gonna have them on the menu. You understand me? So this is limited time, you could do this Chico. So make sure you try this today, not tomorrow, you heard? So yeah, so first thing first, you go to uh, Wingstop and you get the Wingstop Ranch. You understand me? Then you go to Popeyes and you get the ghost pepper wings, whatever count you want to get. You understand me? They got the six piece. Uh, I got the six piece. I don't really know how much further it goes up besides that, but I got the six piece. 
But yeah, make sure you get the ghost pepper wings. You heard? Now you feel me? Now you take, you feel me? You open up the, you know what I'm saying? You open up the, uh, the ranch dressing, right? And then you grab a wing. And in this case, I grabbed the drumstick because we all know drumsticks are better than flats. You understand me? Drumsticks are better than flats. You understand me? So I grab a, not, not to say that I don't, eat, I don't eat flats, but I prefer the drumsticks. You grab a wing, you feel me? You dip that beer. Then you hit that beer. Mmm. Mmm. <clears throat> Fam. Oh, yes, sir. Bam. This combination is I ain't gonna cap with y'all, you The best ranch in the game with these ghost pepper wings. Ghost pepper wings, they got a little kick to them, not too spicy. I'm not a spicy food person, and I can handle the ghost pepper wings. Feel me? They good. I mess with them. You understand me? Take them ghost pepper wings, mix it with that wing stop ranch. Perfecto, you Perfecto. No cap, you understand me? No cap. I ain't gonna lie, I gotta dip it one more time. You grab the wing. You dip the bit. Feel me? See that? See how I got that, that ranch on there? You dip the bit. Then you hit the bit. Mmm. Oh, yes, sir. Little spice getting to me a little bit. I ain't too bad. Gotta do one more time. Dip that bit. Hit that bit. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie. Somebody in the comments, I done seen it before. They gonna say, damn bro, you killed those wings. And my reply to that person that's gonna say that, what was I supposed to do? Frame the wings up and hang them on the wall? Nerd. They was made to be eaten. Not framed up and hanged on the wall. Hit that bitch. I ain't gonna lie. It got a little spice to it. It ain't too spicy. I can't wait till the end of drink this part. I gotta drink a little Sprite right now. Try to calm down some of this spiciness. All right, fam, so. Here's your chance to exit. I'm about to talk about a TV show. You want me to ruin for you? The most latest episode of uh, All American. I watched that last night. I mean, you know I like All American, so pretty good episode. Um, I try to keep it brief because I got stuff to go do. What happened? So basically, you know, the new guys that they give the second chances to. They're, you know, they, they on the team, basically, you know what I'm saying? They got full ride scholarships. And they, you know what I'm saying? They practicing, you know, drills with the players or whatever. And they doing their thing. They doing pretty good. You feel me? Um, so there was this guy that came to the, uh, to one of the practices that was going on. Some white guy, whatever. And people was noticing him. But I guess some people didn't recognize him. But Spencer recognized him from somewhere or whatever. So Spencer went over to talk to him. He's like, you know, he was like, Something to do with like with a head position at the at, at GAU at the at the college. So he was out there observing or what have you. Spencer went over there to holler at him, and he basically was trying to tell Spencer. Oh, we heard that the coaches are uh, are recruiting ex-cons and whatever the case may be. Spencer told him like, "Yo, 
certain people deserve second chances, whatever the case may be. But he was acting like he wasn't happy with it, da 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 whatever the case may be. But he came to talk to the coach, and the coach wasn't there at the time. Feel me? So Buddy basically seemed like he had a problem with the whole ex-con thing and whatever. So that part was over. And then there was another dude uh, who left, who, who, who was supposed to go to GAU origi originally, and he went to some other school, I think in Florida, if I'm not mistaken. And supposedly he wasn't, you know, he wasn't doing good over that that school. So the trainer guy who just got recruited, who, the, the, who, who, was, who was the ex-con, who got recruited for GAU, he also was training this uh, football player who went to Florida that's not doing too good. So, you know, he told, Spencer told him, Spencer already knew the guy previously, but he told Spencer, like, yeah, man, I'm training him, and he's not doing too good over there, da, 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 da. So, you know, basically he was telling Spencer, putting a bug in Spencer Hill, whatever, to try to, you know, see if they could get him to GAU. So now, you know, buddy who came, whatever, you know, he practiced with the squad for a little bit, whatever. He was just feeling the vibes or what have you. You feel me? And um, he decided that he wanted to come to GAU, and that same white guy that was on the field, was the person who he spoke to or whatever the case may be but basically that guy he's back on the team which is good you know what i'm saying they got a couple good plays on gau so let's see what they do here and let's see they put up the numbers here and then olivia she won this award it was some journalism award you feel me and olivia came from hiding because at first she was kind of hiding under some name jaden smith i believe she didn't really put her name out there because like she i guess she didn't want like all the backlash to come at her when she had posted the article about the the, uh, the football players, about that coach, that coach, that football coach that was like purposely telling players to to injure people or whatever, because she was the one that went that went after the article and published it and what have you. She went after the story. So then yesterday she decided to come out. You feel me? And she said, "Oh, I, I'm no longer going under Jaden Smith. My name is Olivia Baker." You heard? So she won an award. It was emotional for her because you know her dad wasn't there. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know uh, Billy Baker passed away. You know what I mean? So it was kind of emotional for her or whatever. And then um, Spencer had felt some way too about his mom. Because his mom was, um, you know, Spencer had done moved out the house. But Spencer still had a room at his mom's house. You feel me? Because Spencer moved out. He was living at the beach house or whatever. But he still had a room at his mom's house. And then when he came over there, he seen that they was like decorating his old room. And all the furniture was gone or whatever the case may be. And he was like, yo, what's going on? Where's my room? Whatever. And then his mom was like, well, you don't live here no more. You live in the beach house now, remember? So Spencer felt some kind of way, whatever the case may be. Then his mama then, you know, his mama thought about it or whatever the case may be. And his mama like, you know what? I can't do this to Spencer. Da 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 da. You feel me? So then Spencer thought about it. He was like, you know what, mom? You took care of us all your life or whatever. It is your house, whatever. You know, it was selfish of me, you know, to feel some type of way about you redecorating the room, whatever the case may be. Mom, you do your you do your thing. Do what makes you happy, mom, because you've been making sure that we've been happy all our lives. So, you know, I guess his mom is cool now. You know what I mean? And then Spencer's girlfriend, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm, 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 I kind of can't wait till him and till Spencer break it off with her and get back with Olivia, you feel me? So Spencer's girlfriend finally broke it to, to, to Spencer and told Spencer that Olivia was the one that made her, that that helped them stay together, whatever, because she told her that originally she wasn't gonna come to Spencer's aid at the time. It's because a, a, Olivia had came and spoke to her and told her that, yo, you know, we all need to be here for Spencer. And that's the only reason she came. So I don't even know why she broke that news. Because to me, in my opinion, now you kind of look bad in Spencer's eyes. You feel me? So now Spencer, you know what I'm saying? In his eyes, he thinking like, damn, you feel me? Like Olivia. You know what I'm saying? Like, so if it wasn't for Olivia, you wasn't going to come to my aid. You feel me? Like, what type of, you know, what type of, what type of stuff is that? You heard? I don't know. That was kind of weird to me that she even told Spencer that. Because, like, you just made yourself look bad in my eyes. At least that's my opinion. I don't know if you guys seen that episode. Have you seen that episode? What you think? Do you think it was a smart thing that she told Spencer that Olivia was the one that helped them stay together, whatever the case may be? Or was it was it, was it it a bad thing? I think it was a bad thing. You feel me? Like, she should have never said that. She kept, kept that to herself. She talked too much. But anyway, they, um, they went to the award ceremony. Olivia won the award, and that was good for her. Patience. Decided that she doesn't want to pick the singer. She decided that she doesn't want to go with the 2.0 name no more She doesn't want to change whatever so she wants to stay the same so she's not gonna go with the 2.0 thing no more and uh, Okay, so oh this was real crazy right here. So um Y'all know cool. So now cool currently date that girl who, who the girl also works with patience you know, in the music scene, or whatever she like a secretary or whatever she does, like a manager, I don't know what she does, but she works with patients as far as in the music uh, um, situation. So, um, you know, Coop and that girl wasn't doing too good. You know what I mean? 
recouping that girl wasn't doing so good. So, you know, that girl, been, they've been hanging around patients, you know what I'm saying, patients a lot because of the whole music thing. So now last night, the girl kissed patients, like coop girlfriend kissed patients. Like, damn, like, you feel me? Like, she ain't right, you feel me? Like, how you gonna just kiss, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, coop current girlfriend kissed coop ex-girlfriend. Like, what she on, fam? You feel me? Like, what, what you doing? I know patients got to tell coop, you feel me? I know patients got to tell coop, but like, that girl ain't right, bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie, fam, like, I ain't gonna lie, that was crazy to me, fam. I don't know if y'all saw it, but that was crazy. So Coop current girlfriend kiss kiss Coop ex-girlfriend. How you how you Coop current girlfriend and you got some interest in Coop ex-girlfriend? Like it, it, I ain't gonna lie, man. It, it, it's, it's, it's crazy right now, man. You feel me? It's uh what's the word I'm looking for, man? I, I can't even think of the word I'm looking for, man, but that was crazy to me, fam. Like, dang. But yeah, I think it ended right there. So I can't wait to see the next episode, man. I hope they break the news. I hope she I hope um patients break the news to Coop. So now I think this is going to be the end of um of that girl. This is my prediction that I'm thinking. I think it's gonna be the end of Coop and that girl eventually. And Coop gonna end up getting back with patience. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know. I could be wrong though, but I'm thinking that's what's gonna end up happening. Cause that was crazy. I don't know who wrote the story, but you know what I mean? They wrote they got some drama going on on there. You understand know I me? Mean? It's crazy. But yeah, fam, that's pretty much what happened on the show. Waiting around for the next episode, you understand me? But yeah, fam, I had to do this cheat code for y'all, you heard? Appreciate y'all for tuning in, you understand me? Appreciate y'all for tuning in. All that, you understand me? I appreciate the GTF without you guys, you feel me? This page wouldn't be going, so I appreciate y'all. I put God first, the GTF did the rest, you heard? GTF for less. I said GTF for less. GTF for life. Try this today, not tomorrow, you heard?